And back here at home, the swamp is still well preoccupied with investigations into President Trump and Georgia's special election runoff. This is a new Washington Post report says that former Obama advisors are upset with the new administration's pro-business agenda, rolling back all of their hard work. Welcome to Risk and Reward. I'm Cheryl Cassoni. I'm in for Deidre Bolton tonight. Well, the market's falling from their records today, dragged lower by energy stocks after oil entered into bear market territory. All this, the backdrop is former Obama officials are now reeling over President Trump fulfilling his campaign promise to move forward with his pro-business agenda by in part rolling back a lot of Obama-era initiatives. Now, here's a couple of reactions for you. Just to give an example of what we're seeing, former Obama advisor Ben Rhodes saying that all of his work was wasted after the Cuba rollbacks, saying, quote, this. Personally, part of what makes it difficult to accept is that we were six years into the administration and spent a year and a half of exhaustive negotiations. Then, former Obama Deputy U.S. Trade Ambassador Wendy Cutler describing the president pulling out of the Trans-Pacific Partnership trade deal. She said this, quote, I felt short of breath and like there was a dagger in my heart. And then uh, Brian Deese, he is a former Obama senior advisor who had worked closely on the Paris Climate Accord. He reacted to the pullout of that, saying, quote, it was incredibly frustrating including that he had trouble explaining it to his four-year-old daughter. Okay, so all of this is while two major Trump initiatives